Good morning. I've been looking for a decent MailChimp block for a long time now, and yesterday one was released. MailChimp is an email tool that lets you collect and send emails to your mailing list, and this block beautifully integrates MailChimp into your WordPress website. Not only can you add it as a simple subscribe box to your site, but you can use it as a standalone block so you can incorporate it into other blocks like the cover block. So today I'm going to show you three things. One, how to add the block to your site and customize it. Two, how to incorporate it into other blocks and three, how to automatically inject it into all your posts throughout your website so you can radically increase the number of subscribers you get to your mailing list. It's time for Block of the Week. Block of the Week, Block of the Week. Yeah, Block of the Week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. So just install the plugin as you would any other plugin and you'll see it listed here, newsletter block by Gutner. Again, I put a link in the description so you can go and download it. And let me just talk you through the basic usage. So I've just created a placeholder page here. So the beauty of this, because it's a block, you can put it anywhere on your site that supports blocks. So if you're just using a classic theme, you can put it in your posts and pages or widgets. And if you're using a full site editing theme, you could put this in the footer as well. This is how it works. Just click on the block inserter and scroll all the way down to the bottom of your block. And you'll see the newsletter block there. You can also search for it here, but let's just add it into the page. And what's nice about this is that it just uses blocks to construct the block, if you see what I mean. Let me click on list view to show you how this works. So at the top level, we have the newsletter block. And then to create this layout here, they've actually used it, they've actually used the columns block. And within the left hand column they've just added an image you can replace that with your own image if you want to and in the right hand column we're just using blocks again we've got a heading block which is this subscribe uh, words here which you can change obviously a paragraph block again you can change all this this is the key one the newsletter field block and then underneath is we've got a paragraph block all these blocks you can change the newsletter field is the most important one this is where you set things up so let me just talk you through the key settings here the most important setting is when you choose your provider. Now, at the moment, they're just supporting MailChimp. I'm guessing they're going to support other newsletter providers going forward. You just select MailChimp from this drop down. Then you need two bits of information. You need your MailChimp API key and your MailChimp audience ID. To find your API key in MailChimp, you just log into your MailChimp account, click on your little photo down here in the bottom left, and go to profile. Once you're on your profile, go to extras and then the API keys and you'll see them here. I've hidden mine so nobody out there steals them and abuses them. And if you want to get your audience ID, which is the other bit of information you need, you just go to all contacts and then you go to settings and you go to audience name and defaults. And you'll see there, again, I'm hiding this on your screens, but you'll see your audience ID and you just pop that in newsletter block here. So that's where your API key goes and that's where your audience ID goes. You've got some other options to customize this so you can change the icon color. The icon color is that little icon there and then down here you've also got some options to change the text color. Let me just show you where this changes it. So you change the text color and also the background color. Uh, my text, text color will go in there. You see what I mean? So you can change those colors to your brand colors if you want to and you can also do things like change the size of your fonts as well if you want to. And you can change the padding as well. So you've got some nice options here. Actually let's scroll down a bit further. You can change the margin and you can also put a little radius around the search box as well if you want it a bit more curvy. So you've got some nice options to customize this. Now you can also customize the main columns block like so because we're just using Gutenberg at this point and you can change the text color in here as well. So you've got some really nice options to customize it out of the box. But what's really cool about it, even cooler than what I've just shown you, is you can actually just grab this particular field and place that in different contexts as well. And that's what I'm going to show you next. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do next. This is a full width, full screen hero image with a nice newsletter sign up within it, all using the new Gutner newsletter block. And let me just show you how I built this. There's a little bit of a workaround to get this to work. I'm just going to use the cover block here. So I'm going to start by adding the cover block and I'm just going to add a background image to my cover block. Now at the moment we're not using the plugin, we're just using standard WordPress and I'm going to make that full height of the screen by clicking this little icon here and I'm also going to make it full width. So that kind of sets the scene now and obviously you can do things like change the focal point just using that little dragger there. Now within this I'm not going to write a title, I'm actually going to use the newsletter block and I'm going to stick it in like so. Now that looks that looks pretty good as it is actually. So you could just leave it like there but actually in my version 
I just cleaned it up a little bit because all I really want is just this little form field. I want to get rid of this icon here. I want to get rid of some of these words here. So what you need to do here is you basically you're going to use the list view. So click on list view and just scroll down here, click into these. And this is just showing us what we've got. Now we can delete some of this stuff if we want to, but that's actually what we're after. But it, this can only exist within the top level newsletter block. So what we can actually do is just drag it up like so. And now it's just existing under here. Now if we wanted to, we could delete everything else. So we're just left with our nice little search box. So our, our sign up box here. And now we can go insert before. And now all we need to do here is write our text. And obviously this can be whatever you like. And because this is just a paragraph block, we can size it and do all the normal stuff we can do in Gutenberg. But the, the oh, that's huge. But the trick here is you wanna you wanna add the block first and then delete the elements from it that you don't want because the newsletter block will automatically bring in those other blocks and we're really just interested in this situation in adding the newsletter field. Now because it's a block you can add that to your widgets so in your footer or your sidebar if you're using blocks for your widgets uh, but you can also be a bit more snazzy if you're using a full site editing theme because you can actually put that in a template for example your single post template so it would automatically appear maybe at the bottom of all your posts now you can only do this on a full site editing theme. I'm going to show you a way to do the same thing in a minute using another plugin. But this is a full site editing theme. This is the Frost theme, which is another great full site editing theme. These are all the page templates that come with Frost. There's our single post one. And it just opens up. And let me go to the list view again, just so we can see how this is built. Now we could put our block, our new block anywhere, but I think it probably makes sense for us to put it underneath our post content. So I'm going to go, I'm going to highlight post content and go insert after then I'm going to actually search for the newsletter block by typing forward slash newsletter then hitting return that will bring it in and then all we need to do here is customize it now I'm all I'm going to do is actually open it up and I'm going to set a background color because I quite like that green color it's quite lurid, but I quite like it because we'll see it clearly and that's it now I'm going to save it now that should appear at the bottom of all my posts now I've written a couple of posts here to see whether this works and there we go there's the first one and if I go to my blog page we'll see that that now appears at the bottom of every single post now it's a little bit wide so what I'm going to do to fix that up I'm going to go back to newsletter and I'm going to actually put that within a group in fact now I'm going to specify the content here 1200 and that will set the width of it so it's a bit more appropriate for my post that even that might be a little bit wide because this theme's posts width are a little bit small but actually I quite like it because it's kind of very evident what people want to do and that will appear on the bottom of every single post now without me having to put it in so you can only do that easily if you're using a block theme or a theme that supports that functionality the final thing I'm going to show you how to do today is to do the same thing if you're using a classic theme if you're not using a block theme you can still do the same thing with a plugin that actually we've built called block injector here on this site I've switched to the storefront theme and we can do the same thing with the plugin. So we just go to block injector. And the way this works is similar, but we create our content here. So I'm just gonna create a piece of content. Now this content, content could be anything, but I'm just gonna add the newsletter block and I'm just gonna customize it as I did before over on the right here uh, by changing the background color there like so. Now I could customize everything like I did before, but I'm happy with that. But the key thing is we click on the block injector tab and we say, right, I want this piece of content these blocks to appear on all posts at the bottom of those posts. There's lots of other options in Block Injector as well. So that's the simplest one. Now, when we go and look at any of these posts, we should see that piece of content has dynamically been added to the bottom of all our posts. Let's go and check out the My Trip to Everest one. So it's doing essentially the same thing as if you're using a block theme, but instead of that, we're doing it a different way by dynamically injecting content into a specific place within our site. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button now, it will be amazing because it really, really does help spread the word of the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon.